Hello everyone, welcome to Beta Code. In this video, we will be talking about uh, how to install MySQL and MySQL Workbench in your system. So let's uh, first thing we will have to do is uh, go to any browser and search for MySQL download. In the first result, just uh, go to the first result MySQL.com, and here if you scroll down. If you will land to the download space and you can scroll down here and see MySQL community downloads so just click on this one here uh, we have to uh, download the installer first so first go to the MySQL community server click on this here we can see MySQL community server page opens and if you scroll down uh, we have windows mysql installer msi so we have to install uh, first download the msi so just click on this go to the downloads page and here two installer we got one is web and another one is mysql installer so we will go with the mysql installer one and since here it is written 32 bit but it will work for 64 bit also just click on this download uh, if you want uh, you can log in also but uh, i will just go with the you can skip this also let's like just click on this thanks so it will start the download uh, and let it uh, download first then we will start now the download has been successful so uh, just open the downloaded folder and you will get this installer just double click on this and it will start the installer for you if it asks for some access just uh, click on yes and then it will start the installer now as you can see uh, the installer has been started and here uh, the first step is uh, select this setup type so here we have different options uh, developer default server only so uh, based on your uh, requirement you can select like if you select developer uh, it will provide this many services if you select some other it will provide these services so it will uh, show in the right side uh, i will go with the default one like uh, developer default and click on next uh, when you click on next it will show the options uh, like uh, the following products uh, have failing requirement actually these two are also required so uh, but uh, like it is not compulsory if you want you can install these two also and then come back here uh, but i will go with uh, since i i don't require these two things i will just click on next uh, just click on yes because it will uh, show some warning and now it is uh, showing uh, what things is ready to be installed just click on execute so it will uh, start installing one by one all the things and once it is completed then we can proceed to the next step so let it complete okay now you can see uh, all the installation is complete just click on next and here it uh, says uh, all the things are ready to configure again click on next uh, keep everything as default only click on next again next and here it asks for a root password so you can give some password i am just giving a sample password so that i can remember it and now uh, here also you can add some user also so you can if you want you can add, add so that you can log in with that user also so i will just give bigger code as the username and role also you can define from these many roles i will put it as db admin only and password so i will just keep a sample password and now uh, it is showing as weak because i am just keeping a default password or sample or simple password click on ok now you can click on next here also just keep all the things default only click on next 
and uh, here also keep the same thing selected next and click on execute so one by one it executing all the things required and then when every execution is success it will say that its installation is success okay so now everything uh, uh, every configurations also got updated now we have an option to finish so click on this finish and just click on next finish apply configuration okay now here just type the password uh, which you created last uh, and click on check it will check uh, whether the connection is success or not if it is failing that means your configuration is not correct so maybe something got fishy here yeah i think i typed incorrect password okay so uh, as soon as you enter the correct password it will uh, validation will be success and now you can go to the next step click on next here also you will have to click on execute now it is running some internal scripts for the configuration now you can click on finish so two things in uh, configuration is completed click on next again and click on finish so uh, the uh, like installation is success now it is now open the two things one is mysql workbench so since it is uh, installed it op it also opened and another thing it opened is uh, mysql command prompt see this one now the installation of mysql and mysql workbench is success uh, to open mysql uh, you have to go to the windows symbol then you can go to all apps and here scroll down and uh, check for mysql so you can see uh, inside mysql we have everything here so if you wanted to use mysql cell you can open it here and if you wanted to use mysql workbench so you can open that also so just click on this again go to all apps and mysql or you can directly search it there also so mysql and then i wanted to open mysql workbench so click on this it will open the mysql workbench now here uh, one by default uh, root uh, user is there or you can add some user also i will just log in you can click on this plus symbol to log in with some user i will just uh, log in into same account click on this and then it will ask for password so the password that you given while installing you have to give it here and you can save also but i will not save just click on ok now it is connected successfully here you can write some command also like uh, first we will have to create some uh, database so you can write create database beater ports and uh, you can run this command so it is success now we can also use this database use beater ports and then execute it again so it is also success and now also we can run some other query like creating data uh, creating table create table uh, books let's see book id where care let's see two and book name where care mm, let's keep it as 10 only and then you can run this command so it is also success similarly you can uh, insert some uh, details also insert into books values let's say one three zero one and name is first book and just execute this query so there is some error data too long for column book id okay so it is let's keep it as two only now execute so yeah it's uh, insertion is success now you can check uh, the database also so you can do select star from books so it will show the details you can see uh, this table is created and we can see the data also so similarly you can use this uh, mysql workbench also after installing mysql uh, you can check uh, running it through command prompt also so just open it cmd 
and once search if it is correctly installed or not so search for mysql hyphen hyphen version so if it is saying like this uh, mysql is not recognized that means uh, you will have to set the environment variable so first close everything and go to your c drive and in the c drive program files just go inside program files and then go inside mysql mysql server and bin just copy this location and now open your environment variable so search for uh, environment variable here and then you can see you did the system environment variable click on this click on environment variables and here in the path you can edit it click on new and paste the url again click on ok and here you can add new also and just keep the name as oracle home or you can keep it as mysql home and paste the url click on ok ok and again ok so now once again close the cmd also and uh, open it in some other yeah now you just try to type mysql sorry mysql hyphen hyphen version so it is now installed correctly and uh, it is showing the version here also and to connect to mysql from here you can just type mysql minus u and give your username and minus p then enter it will ask for password just enter the password uh, that you created while installing click on enter now it is connected you can use some database or create some database yeah so it is working fine that's all thank you thank you thank you for uh, watching this video see you in the next video